okay hello everyone you know in this video I'm going in the previous video I talked about how to build an, uh, an IPv6 a link local IPv6 address using uh, an EUI 64 notation now I'm going to show you how to build uh, a global IPv6 address using EUI 64 or let's say a routable IPv6 address using EUI 64 notation it's very simple now when you look at this diagram you see IPv6 addresses assigned to PC0 this is an IPv6 address assigned to PC1 and uh, I need to assign an IPv6 address to the interface of router 0 this is a fast Ethernet 00 which does not have any IP address um, which does not have an IP address or even if it has an IP address from previous configuration what we can do we can simply uh, let's see if it has an IP address okay it seems it has an IP address so I can simply delete the IPv6 address so I type the command now IPv6 address and then I specify 2001 colon uh, okay this will be ABCD 64 slash 64 now I come back again to check if there is an IP address assigned no there is no IPv6 address so as you see here uh, fast Ethernet 00 does not have any IPv6 address so uh, I just want to show you how to build how to configure your interface with uh, IPv6 address using a UI 64 notation again IPv6 address is made of two parts the prefix and the interface ID and uh, the prefix represent the address of the network in IPv6 network and the interface ID represent the address of the node or IPv6 node now in order to use the EUI 64 notation make sure that the length of the prefix is equal to 64 this is a master's condition and generally this IPv6 address is assigned to a LAN interface why? because we need the MAC address of that interface and generally LAN interfaces are the one uh, that have the uh, MAC address like fast Ethernet interface, gigabit interface, and maybe you're dealing with a legacy Ethernet interface. Uh, all right, so how, how to do that? It's very simple again. I go to router R0. Knowing that in this network here, the prefix is 2011, all, all ones in each group. So four groups are specified here for the purpose of the prefix, for specifying the prefix of uh, IPv6 address. So first, let me just go to uh, my router and I type the following command show interface uh, fast okay interface fast Ethernet zero zero and when I see this interface I'm going to do the following I need to copy the MAC address of the interface okay I will do it here so what is the MAC address of interface zero 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 E right I do that zero zero E zero right if I'm not wrong uh, right f7 fc f7 4c I think 4c okay f7 4c and 9401 9401 let's double check uh, 00 e0 f7 4c 9401 okay this is the MAC address of the fast Ethernet 00 of the router 0 Okay, this is a fast Ethernet 00. Now, in order to build my IPv6 address using the EUI64 notation, we have to do the following. First, go to the MAC address of that interface, split it into two, exactly two parts. Should be the same, okay? It should be exactly in the middle. Right, now, once split, you have to insert the following value in the middle, FF, FE. This value is split, now we have to reconstitute uh, the group where each group is made of two bytes so I bring FF to F7 so now I have a new group F7 FF and then I cut I separate this group from the remaining by putting a colon now FE will go to with FC with 4C sorry FE will go with FC like this I can also add the uh, the colon like this I can add the colon all right just make sure that you add the colon because we might forget and leave the dots here and uh, after that after that uh, we can simply uh, append now this is the first step that we have done uh, the second step we look at the first byte of the first group this is the first group as you see here to the left this is the first group of the interface ID of course 
and this is the first byte of the first group of interface ID okay this is the first byte now what we should do actually we should do the following second bit of the first byte of the interface ID should be flipped for example let me just represent the first byte here I just need to represent the first byte of the first the first group like this all zeros right this is the first byte of the first group this byte here I'm representing this byte zero zero now I go to the second bit which is second one to the right and this bit I'm going to flip it now it is zero you see I put one I'm flipping this to one what becomes a new value it becomes zero two so now I just rep I just replace zero zero that I have with zero two right now it's okay uh, right now what I do what I want to do here now is simply I am provided with a prefix you see the prefix here is uh, 2000 ones ones and ones uh, I just simply take this interface ID and append it to the prefix when it is appended now the new address will be something like this 2001 colon right another group of ones and a third group of ones so this is my uh, IPv6 address this is my IPv6 address that I'm building using the EY64 notation now I know how the IPv6 address should look like but um, am I going to build you remember with link local the IPv6 address is built automatically now I would like to do the same what I do for this I go to router 0 I go to router 0 uh, I go to the interface fast internet 0 0 and then I, I write IPv6 address and then I type question mark you see here uh, I'm specifying the the prefix okay sorry colon 64 this is my prefix this is, this is the prefix that I should find in the IPv6 address assigned to the fast Ethernet 00 but after that you notice here I'm not specifying the interface ID there is no mention of interface ID why because I ask my router to build the interface ID using the EUI 64 notation so now I just write EUI 64 I type enter okay now let's go and check what is now the um, IPv6 address of interface fast Ethernet 00, zero. Uh, okay brief I should add the brief to make things uh, show IPv6 interface brief to make things simple here it is okay this is the IPv6 interface uh, IPv6 IP address assigned to the router let's compare it to the one which is available here all right so here in that case I should put a column here sorry all right so are they the same I have the prefix 2001 all ones here all ones all ones right it's okay but when it comes now it comes to when it comes to the interface ID I have two e0 f7 ff right f7 ff fe4 c 94 0 this is the same thing now we can do something we can omit leading zeros in this case we can omit leading zeros and finally we obtain the same exactly the same thing so you see that the router is able to configure itself with the IPv6 address using EUI64 notation but first make sure you provide the interface with a with a prefix with IPv6 prefix and then the router will be in charge of uh, of building uh, the interface ID using its MAC address to be appended later on to the uh, prefix and generate uh, to, to to generate the IPv6 address now this will be done automatically by the router by for the sake but for the sake of verification and testing and checking also we can build we can write down the expected uh, IPv6 address to be uh, implemented using the EY64 notation and compare of course at the end they should be the same as we have done here we are dealing with the same thing with the same this is an IPv6 address using the EY64 notation so it's very important as you see the link local IPv6 address uh, is relying on the EUI64 notation and uh, the global uh, IPv6 address or the routable IPv6 address because also we might use the unique local IPv6 address which is a kind of private IPv6 address also is relying on the EUI64 notation so in that case we don't have the hassle of uh, we don't go into the hassle of generating interface ID by ourselves we just rely on the router to generate it for us 
Okay, so thank you for viewing this uh, video. This is uh, Hakim Adish.